this coronavirus spread. More than 160,000 cases in the United States. More than three quarters of Americans are under stay-at-home orders tonight. This is not a financial crisis. This is just a temporary moment of time. Most likely you don't recognize what has happened to life in America. Joshua Ramirez, I'm co-owner of Jack Nine Films. Uh, was based out in Allentown, Pennsylvania, but roughly about almost four years ago, we are now in Orlando, Florida. Collectively, about three billion people on this planet have seen something that you know we've created, um, which is a number that still by, you know mind boggles me from where I started because I never thought that three billion people would actually see something that I've done, you know from a small town, Allentown, Pennsylvania, <laughs> but it is possible. Thank you so much, Josh, for doing this interview. So tell us how your business was affected by COVID-19. It happened really abrupt. Coincidentally, uh, you know, we had a really, like, as soon as this year started, I mean, it started with a bang. I mean, we were on, we, we, we were looking at each other like, yo, could this be the year that we break a million in sales? Like, that's how, bang it was you know we had plans for you know buying a you know a new alexa airy camera i know a lot of video you know people don't know because you know videography but that's like a to rig it out that's a hundred and ten thousand dollar camera and we were ready to purchase it all that stopped literally i'm telling you like within one week everything froze like i'm talking about to a screeching halt but Thank God, you know, me and my partner, we were smart enough and we've always saved money, you know. Um, we, we, we invested in the business, of course, and we've done that through the years. But, you know, I'm a strong believer and you gotta save money for those bad moments because in any business, you're gonna run into what we're running into right now. It's that ex unexpected, uh-oh, for those who don't know, you also have a film crew. How are they dealing with the situation? I employ um, approximately eight people. So those people rely on what we do. So it's affected them. Um, and so, you know, I, I've found creative ways to try to help, you know, them, you know, as, as much as we can. Um, you know, my wife works for uh, for uh, a staffing agency, and so you know they need gigs, some odd job gigs and stuff. And and I said, okay, you know what? You know, my wife can get you a couple gigs to hold you over. And they're like, screw it, we'll take it. You know. So again, but those are the many blessings that 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 we that we've had. Aside from the financial, which is the obvious, it's the mental. It's for someone creative, you know, we got to constantly be creative or else we just don't feel normal. You out of all people know what it's like to start from the bottom of this video production industry. What advice would you give to that young videographer trying to make a come up during this time? You know, I would say go ahead and, you know, find those dudes that are willing to, you know, pay whatever, you know, but nobody can leave. Right. Like you just can't leave. So my advice is absorb as much information on that internet. YouTube is your best friend and hone your skills. So that way, when you come back, you come back a whole lot better. Don't just sit around and watch Netflix and binge watch, you know, because that's unfortunately what I see a lot of people doing instead of trying to self better themselves. Um, I binge watched literally one show this whole time, and it was the the self-made, the the, the self-made one. I don't know if you've seen it. I, I I probably I haven't seen it, but I probably it's probably listened there. It's only four episodes, and the only reason that I watched it is because it's about a self-made person. <laughs> so it was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to motivate myself. Right. So I chose to watch and binge watch that. I can't binge watch that other stuff. But but here's the thing. So people are binge watching stuff that are not going to add any value to their lives. Mm. 
okay? If you're gonna choose to binge watch something, binge watch something that's gonna add a value to your life, it's gonna spark some interest in your brain, it's gonna spark something. So that way when we get over this hump right near, then you feel more like you prepared for the next battle, you know, different lessons. And again, I don't, if it's not educational, I really don't watch it. It's very rare, you know? But you don't entertain yourself? I'm like, to me, that's entertaining. That's what entertains me. With all the negativity going on in the media, what is one positive message you would want to give to the audience? Use this time wisely. You know what I mean? God don't make no mistakes. Use this time wisely. And people be like, you know, oh, it's bad timing. It ain't our timing. It's God's timing. Remember that. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this. Hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching LBJ Media TV.